everybody, and welcome back to Mission Control for a quick tips video. In this video, we're going to talk about curves. The console provides a variety of curves which set how the console tracks, fades, and playbacks or for attributes. Either the same speed all the way, linear, or starting and ending gently, but faster in the middle, and various other options. Curves for playbacks can be changed in the options menu for the playback. For nonlinear curves, you may need to use mode 2 fader for it to respond as expected. Curves for attributes can be changed in the attribute behavior tab in the patch view. Curves can be found in the manual. I'll have the link in the description. First, we have the linear, then always on. We have relay on at 50%, so it means that once the output got to 50%, it would then go to full on. Relay off at 50%, so it means that once it got to 50%, it would turn off instead of on. Square wave, long logarithmic, linear lumens, alt linear, S curve one, S curve two, cubic one and cubic two, triangle, bounce, and here we show 90% linear and 80% linear. However, linear works from 10% all the way to 95% in 5% increments. This means that if you had it set at say 50% linear, it would linear fade from 0% to 50% of the output, so 128, and that would be as high as it would go. Let's take a look at some of this. So here I've got version 14 of Titan on the Titan Go interface. I've got my DMX view here with some spot fixtures. So if we were to bring this fader up, we can see that they go all the way to 255 and bring it back down, it fades back out. So let's go ahead and look at four playbacks first. So if we go and go to our options menu and then select our playback, then we go to the fader tab. We see here our curve is currently set at linear. We'll go ahead and change it by clicking on it and we'll change it to 50% linear. And then exit out of our options there. As we bring it up, our fixtures fade in. But even with the fader at full, our fixtures are only outputting 128 or 50%. I'm going to use AVO and back to undo that change. So now if we bring it up again, we can see they go all the way to 255 on the output. We can also change curves on individual attributes. So if we were to bring up our patch view, so we'll go into view and patch. And then we would go ahead and click on the attribute behavior tab. And we'll go ahead and filter our, our fixtures down to our just our dimmers. So we see here those same spot fixtures are here. And then if you go to our context menu, Remember that our context menu on the Sapphire Touch and Titan Go interface is going to be the four lines button as circled here. On all the other consoles, it's just going to be left of soft keys B, C, and D as circled here. So here on our context menu, we'll go ahead and change it from upper limit to curve. Then we'll go ahead and select our spot fixtures. Then our soft keys, we can see our, again our different curves. Then we'll go ahead and use relay on at 50% for these particular fixtures. Now you see that it says it there. We can exit out of this and then close our patch view. And now, on these same fixtures, if we bring them up, we can see as we bring the fader up, nothing happens. And as soon as we hit 50%, they go straight to on. And on full at 255. So that's been Curves in version 14 of Titan. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe and join us next time. Thanks, bye.